to install the canvas tool, you download it and you double click on the install canvas.jsx. Uh, this will ask you if you want to run it in Photoshop. Yes. Now I would like to install an action. And now you should have a button called canvas. Um, if you're in button mode, which I recommend because you don't have to press play then for every action. If installing that way doesn't work, you can also start the script by using file scripts browse. Okay, let's see how to use it. Let's say this is a photo. I want to uh, make a canvas out of this, but I'd like to have a little bit more material along the edges because as you know, on a canvas, you need to wrap um, maybe two centimeters. Uh, so I would lose maybe the top of her hair or a little bit of this jacket. So the purpose of this tool is to add something to the image. So let's look at this. So we need to add uh, DX and DY millimeters to the canvas. And here you can say how much uh, you need to add. And this, this depends on the uh, thickness of the frame uh, of the canvas. So let's, let's stick to 20. <clears throat> and these numbers are usually the same, right? So. You can extend it with mirroring or content aware tools. So let's look at mirroring first. And this is quite simple. It adds a mirror image of the uh, last uh, 20 millimeters of this photo. So you can see it clearly here where you have the mirror image of her shoulder. Now bear in mind that this part of the canvas is going to be on the side. So it's not going to be as apparent as you see here. It's actually going to be on the side. But um, for this image, it m we might be better off using the uh, content aware field. So let's try the other method. Uh, content aware. And OK. And this <coughs> doesn't actually do the content aware field. It just extends the canvas and makes a selection. And you now, you're going to have to press the delete key and choose content aware here. And you click OK. And this is going to take some time. This happens to be a photo taken with a medium format camera, so it's quite large. So we're just going to have to sit and wait here for a bit. Okay, so here we see that it's actually done a quite good, quite a good job here. Um, you can see the shoulder actually extended almost naturally and it's done a good job along the edges it's just a bit of hair up there so <clears throat> usually you have to do some manual fixing here you would have to remove that strand of hair but otherwise it's extended the canvas and i think it's good to print <laughs>